have to go in your body to find the detail. That's where a felt sense is. Now, maybe you don't like the phrase in your body, so you can say through my body, or you can say, I don't know, but there is a, there is a, a bodily sense of the situation. I'm Nada Lu. I'm focusing teacher, certifying coordinator for the Focusing Institute, and videographer. In so many years of involvement with focusing, thinking at the edge, and video work, I had many opportunities to work with Dr. Jendlin. We became friends, and I had this wonderful opportunity last year, just recently, to co-present with him, Thinking at the Edge. During that presentation, I had a minor role of teaching the Thinking at the Edge, T-A-E, steps. And I hope you will enjoy this tape. Nada peculiarly has spent more time on TAE and the steps. She has spent also more time with me than I have <laughs> with me, which is a very interesting thing. I thought about it yesterday. I thought, well, she has spent more time with Jean Jendlin than I have because she has studied this video and to edit the video, to edit something means to look at it 50 times. My voice has been in her ears much more often than my own. So to have Nada teaching the steps is, is wonderful for me. That I can't do anything wrong. Whatever I tell you, she'll fix it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, to me, TAE is, is three things. TAE is, what would you like these words to mean? And that I think you want to do all the time, with yourself and with everybody else. That when somebody says something and their face lights up, or their eyebrows go, or you can feel that they mean something, then it's time to say, what did you want that to mean? When you use this word or this sentence, tell me more, what did you want that to mean? Or what does that mean to you? Or what did you want me to understand from there? I would do that all day long. As far as getting a pattern and then making a theory, that you need only for two reasons. Either because you want to formulate something and put it in the world. Give it to people. And there again, I'm pleading with you, no matter how small you think you are, what comes through you can be big. That's the purpose of theory. The other purpose is just to think, just to have a good time. You know, it's fun to think, especially if you don't owe anybody anything. So these 14 steps could be divided into uh, three chunks, as we call it. The first part is called speaking from the felt sense. Sometimes we refer to it as breaking the language barrier. The second part is called finding the patterns from the facets. And the third part is uh, building a theory. For practical purposes, having steps to rely on as a, an outside structure is really helpful. But as Jean says often, how can you stuff a living human organism into 14 steps? Nobody can live like that. So there is a certain tension between having to learn steps and being free inside to go where the process leads you. And Jean is going to explain now how to handle this tension. Anything that we do that has a practice with it has this two-sided quality. On the one hand, we have steps. So we have 14 steps. So who is going to remember 14 steps? 
but we need those steps only to teach it. Once you learn it, then it is a practice. Once you learn it, then you do it your own way and, uh, and uh, you don't need the steps. Then you get stuck. Okay, then you look at the steps again. <laughs>